to all my subscribers out there. I'm coming to you guys with a review. Okay, let me let you know something. So I love the show Queen Sugar. This is season three, episode five. Okay, I'm going to be a little all over the place because I did not do it in order today. And, um, and, uh, so let's just get into it. Okay. Well, we're going to start with Ralph Angel. And I love his character. I really love Ralph Angel's character. He's just like this devoted father. Even though he knows that the baby is not his, he still loves Blue. But right now, y'all, Ralph Angel got this love interest, and it's the the little uh, Asian girl at the job, and he's feeling her. So she's like teaching him how to wrap um some Asian food, and you know they're just laughing and you know feeling one another. So um when they're on the job, Ralph Angel asks her, you know, can we go out this weekend? You know, blase, blase. And she's like, well, I got to do this. I got to do that. Basically, she's telling him that she can't do it. So he thinks, oh, okay, she's telling me she can't go out with me because I'm black or because she's above me. She's my boss. All right, whatever. Go on ahead about your day. And she's like, uh, there is six other days in a week. So he laughs and they set up the date. Now, Ralph Angel and Darla have to come to an agreement with blue to let him know like blue me and your mom will no longer be together we're not getting married because blue is like living in this little fantasy land right now and blue's thinking like oh my mom and dad they're going to get back together they're going to get married they're going to have a baby you know that's what he was telling uncle hollywood and hollywood wants to tell him so bad like son you know your parents are not getting married anymore so you can just kind of let that go but instead hollywood is just letting him dream blue even got the nerve to ask hollywood if him and i um on v is going to have a baby once they get married he's like no we ain't have no kids <laughs> so um they sit him down and they talking to him and for me in the situation with darla and ralph angel i'm like I understand where he's coming from with the whole, okay, I don't want to be with Darla stuff. But what Darla did was the past. And yes, she should have said something to him sooner. But I felt like she waited so long because she was like, things are finally go going good in my life. You know, I done messed up with him. I done been sleeping around. I've been on drugs. I, I left my child. And now I'm, I'm finally being able to be a mother. I'm finally being able to prove to everybody that I am that woman that I need to be for my son and the woman I need to be for Ralph Angel. And that's why I think Darla didn't say, oh, okay, he may not be yours. But I think that it was kind of like, you know, sticking with her, pricking her every time they were together. They're like, I'm sorry, something on my floor. Everything was together that they're like, uh, you know, I need to tell him like, I don't want no secrets. I don't want to hide anything from him. So I think that's why she really told him. But I feel like if he's going to accept Blue as his son, then he should be able to accept Darla and all her mess, take her back, and start from start over because y'all two have a child together. Y'all two need to work that out. I mean, I think that is beyond forgiveness because... She messed up at that time that she did that. She was in a messed up place. So I think if you can accept Blue as your child, you should be able to accept Darla. But um, moving on, we're going to go on to Nova. Y'all know how I feel about Nova. Me and Nova, I don't think ever will be, I, will, I don't think I will ever like Nova. Because now guess what she did, y'all? Guess what Nova did? She kissed her sister's man. Like... They give you a hand scratch. Okay, 
So Remy takes Nova on this little uh fishing trip and whatever. And, you know, just to get her away so she can get her thoughts together. And, and they talking. You know, they've been flirting since, what, episode three? So they take each other to the little, they go out to the fishing and stuff. And she's like, I'm going old school fish like my daddy. I don't want to do what you're doing. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. Let's see who catches the fish. And she catches the fish and whatever. And they get this slow pause, look at each other, kiss. Okay, Nova. You and your sister are just now getting to a place to where y'all are making up. Why on God's green earth do you want to do that to your sister? Why do you want to mess with your sister's man? Come on. I don't care. What is in, what does Nova have over these men? It's like, and no matter what man she's with, they are gone off Nova. I was, I'm like, don't get me wrong. She's beautiful. But I'm like. Her character to me is just all over the place. Like she's um eclectic. You know, she's an eclectic character. It's like she don't know whether or not she wanna be black power or she wanna be a white with a white man or whether or not she wanna be a writer in the newspaper or whether or not she wanna write a book or whether or not she wanna be a reporter or whether or not she wanna be the, she just don't know, honey, or she wanna sell weed. She just don't know what she wanna be. And I need for her to come to herself, come to yourself, locate yourself, girl, and figure out what you want to be, what you want to do. So let's go to Charlie. Let's go to Charlie. Charlie, 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 Charlie. We're going to get a moment of silence for Charlie's life right now. Charlie is at home. Um, when she comes home, Micah got his little friends over. One thing, let me get off subject real quick. Where is Kiki? Where's Kiki? I have not seen her in a minute. Like, what, he starts hanging out with these new people, and he doesn't, he don't know how to still maintain his girlfriend Kiki. But, okay, whatever. So, she comes home. Charlie comes home. He's with his little friends, and I do not think he needs to be hanging out with them friends. Because, you know what? I'm kind of feeling like him hanging out with them is going to be trouble. I think in further episodes, something's going to happen to Micah to where it's going to shake up the whole season. So, like I said, Charlie gets home and the kids got their feet on her table. They kicking in her house. And she's like, hey, look, y'all got to, you know, chill out, put your feet down. We ain't doing all that. And, um, you know, Micah's like, okay, you got to go. So, then another scene with them, uh, Micah sitting there talking to his mom. And she's like, you know, I'm going to quit almond milk. Because I guess one of the little friends told her something about some almond milk. And she's like, I'm going to quit almond milk. I might. So, there's a knock at the door. And Micah's listening and he hears that it's his dad. So, you know, Micah's still mad about this the situation that his dad put him in. With the whole him having a sister thing. How on earth did you have a child? And not take care of your child. How? How? Like, this is a 13-year-old. I mean, he took care of the child. But how do you not tell your wife? How do you not tell your son? And I really don't feel like Charlie should be mad about the situation. I think more Micah should be mad. Because he felt like he was the only child for so long. And then all of a sudden, you're like, ah, oh, Micah, guess what? I had a baby. No. So, Davis comes in. Michael runs out. Davis is like, Charlie, I need to talk to you. Charlie is like, you know, oh, it's a work call, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, when Davis is around, Charlie really don't be wanting to give him 100% of her attention. So, and Davis takes the phone over. He's like, Charlie, I really need to talk to you. So, he puts the phone down. He's like, look, a long time ago, I had an affair. No, what did he say? 13 years ago, I had an affair. Charlie's like, stunned, like, What? Then he says, well, I have a child. So Charlie's like, what? But what's crazy is Charlie's not putting two and two together. Charlie's not putting, oh, okay, he has a child, 13-year-old child. She's like thinking his child is new or something. So he's like, you know, I got to move back to L.A. to go take care of her. And Charlie's like, what? You know, she's still kind of like lost in the sides for some reason. So, he basically says, look, I got a 13-year-old child that I, and her mom died, and I got to go back and take care of her. 
And Charlie's like, okay, now it's registering. What She's 13, you cheated on me, blah, blah, blah. So she, it's all registering. And then he tells her, you know, something, something, Micah. So she's like, you mean to tell me you told Micah before you told me? And then you just let him go off in this world by himself trying to figure stuff out? And he's like, well, I called him. Bro, you sent my son out in this world with some valuable information that he's going to have to process on his own. And right now he's in the middle of finding new friends, going to a new school. Like this can definitely send our kid off track. That's not what she's saying, but I know what she means by that. So he's like, oh, well, let me show you. I'm going to be the best father I can be like I was Micah. Uh, she's like, uh, hold on. Don't show me no picture of that little girl. Don't try to bring her face up in here so I can have sympathy towards you. No. Get yourself together. Get out. Matter of fact, get out. Get out. Go on about your day. So, Charlie's like upset and she has got to talk to somebody. So, she calls her son. No answer. He texts her back. He's busy. She calls her brother. No answer. She calls Aunt Vi. No answer. She calls her sister. No answer. And the reason why her sister ain't answering because she out there with Remy doing what she ain't got no business doing anyway. So, right now, Charlie feels so alone. Like, she feels like nobody's there for him. The one time that I need y'all the most, y'all not here. So, she's crying. You know, she's on the floor. She breaks down. She's crying. And then, old dude Landry calls. So, she goes to meet him. They go in the little bar thing, and they talking, and she's getting drunk, and she's all tipsy. They get up. They go dancing. And then, when they go outside, when they go outside, they talking. They kiss, y'all. Kiss, y'all. They kiss. So, they go and kiss, and she sobers up real quick. She's like, oh. He's like, do you need a ride home? You think you can get home by yourself? She's like, oh, yeah, I got this. She's almost up real quick. And the episode ends but um, with that. But on that, you know, she's still kind of having her. I didn't really say anything much about her, but she's having her little dizzy spells. Um, Her in Hollywood is in a good place right now. He's trying to get, you know, she's making these new recipes and trying to incorporate them within her dinner and He's like, look, I'm a big guy. I need some meat. I need to eat some, some I got to have some protein. I, I understand you trying to eat this healthy stuff, but I don't want it. So, that's basically it for season three, episode five of Queen Sugar. I absolutely love this show. And if you don't watch this show, I, I don't watch a lot of TV and I don't watch a lot of stuff. But this show, for some reason, got me intrigued. So, if you don't watch the show, go and watch the show. If you watch the show, comment below some stuff that we can talk about next time on episode 6. Um, and if you are not already subscribed to me, subscribe because my giveaway, I'm up to 90 subscribers right now. So, once I reach 100, like I said, I have giveaways. If you don't believe me about my giveaways, go back and look through my videos. I will take you to the post office with me when I send off the stuff. Every time I receive a new thing in, a new gift in that's coming in, that I'm going to put in my little gift bag. I may have a video for everyone, or I may just wait until everything comes in and then just show y'all everything that's in the bags. Um, I really thank you guys for subscribing. If you already subscribed, if you haven't subscribed yet, Please do, and I thank you. I will be having giveaways every 50 subscribers. So, excuse me, once I reach 100, I'll have this giveaway. Once I reach 150, I have a new giveaway. And it's going to be different stuff. It's not always going to be hair. It's not always going to be makeup. It's just going to be gift card, movie gift cards, whatever. It's going to be different stuff, books, uh, whatever. My channel is going to be an open platform for you to be able to come. We discuss stuff. We do makeup. We do hair. We do challenges. We, you know, just stuff. Like, just normal people stuff. A lot of these big time YouTubers can care less about their YouTube people. I care about y'all. And I'm a mother of four, a wife to one. And I don't really have a lot of time in my day to really go out in the world and experience. And, and talk to people so whenever I do have my alone time I'll be like look let me just get on YouTube or Facebook and just talk to the people so I thank you for tuning in until next time I love you guys bye bye